actually was raining a little bit ago, but it seems like it stopped for now. Let's see what happens. Or never mind, it just decided to rain all of a sudden. What the heck? It rains there, but literally about maybe 20 steps. It doesn't rain here. <laughs> so unpredictable. I actually did fly it really quickly, but then yeah, I noticed the rain. And now the sun's coming out. What's with this weather? Lots of tech stuff today. I was reading for this one first. It says AT&T makes world's first standard based mobile 5G millimeter wave connection. So apparently I think in the US they're going to be launching 5G networks. Basically it'll be a lot faster. But there's not actually currently any phones that support it. But I guess that's why it says here they're basically partnering with companies like what is this Samsung and Nokia and all that basically to make the 5G hardware because I know the new Galaxy phone apparently they say it's going to be a limited edition phone that actually is capable of the 5G but it makes me wonder here in Canada we're not we're even going to have that because I know for hardware wise the only thing I know for sure that I'm probably going to get next year is a new phone just to use up the credits in my contract but would I pay an extra premium for the 5G even though technically no carrier here is probably going to have that like in 2019 I guess it's about that debate on whether or not you should future-proof your purchase. Then again, maybe it's a little too early. Holy cow, it's a lot of lost and found if this is a lost and found. I have weird people would just leave it here, hopefully, that the owner would just come back and get it. What the heck, I was ready to just launch it out with another battery. It's like, ah, oh, the raid's coming again. <laughs> I don't think it should last that long. I really waited out. But then I was reading about this new drone. It had kind of an interesting name. It's called the Impossible US-1. Even on the videos from the official company website and stuff, it doesn't even actually show much. I'm like, what is this about? From what I was reading, apparently this drone can last for two hours up in the air, which is the unique thing. And the way they do it is they're using kind of a different approach in terms of how they're designing the drone instead of making a drone and then figuring out okay how can we fit a good battery in there to my understanding they basically designed it as in let's make a really good battery and then design the drone around it that's kind of like what it looks like too around this image here anyways they show like all these batteries like inside i don't know if that's actually how it is or if that's just a conceptual image so you get the point it says in their little caption here, we have taken a fundamentally different engineering approach, designing the aircraft around the battery. So that sounds kind of cool, having a drone last that long. For me, usually it's okay, let's see what the camera and stuff is like. <laughs> this is definitely not a consumer drone. It says here it comes with a Fleur Dual Pro R. So that's meant more for like businesses, emergency workers and stuff like that. It's not meant for like a regular individual. This thing is going to cost a fortune. That camera itself, for example, on the manufacturer's site is listed as what, $5,199 and that's just for the camera itself. So yeah, definitely not for a person like me and that's not their target market. It seems like on the company's marketing materials and literatures, they plaster the fact that it's made in the US a lot. And just from reading other articles, I guess that's not a coincidence because that's one of their strategies. Like this one, it says here, the drone's name, the US-1, is a reference to its second key product feature it will be made in the United States. That could make it compelling to US authorities concerned about security of data collected by Chinese drones that dominate the market, led by DJI. Focusing on the government market first is very smart, says Philip Finnegan, an analyst at Teal Group who tracks the UAV industry. If they can achieve these flight times with a payload, that is impressive and certainly positions them well. And for some data, it says the Teal Group estimates that the US civil government market for drones could be worth roughly 300 million from 2018 to 2027. Pricing starts at $7,500 for the base model of the US-1, with a thermal package starting at $9,500 without a thermal camera. So I guess that kind of confirms they're not going after the regular consumer market at the moment, they're going after things like the government contracts, I guess to take advantage of things like the potential China and US trade wars, as well like it says here about the fear of data and all that. That's not too far-fetched of a strategy to gain market share, right? Basically, get all the big businesses, governments on your side, and then afterwards, once you have that presence, then you can market to the consumers and stuff like that. 
Although I know for DJI, to my understanding, one of their business models before was a target basically all the creative people, like basically the big ones, get them to use the products where every time someone sees like a drone, they'll say, oh, what did you fly? I flew this product. So it's kind of a different way of handling it. Then again, with all that politics and stuff like that with the trade war, who knows, maybe that's the way to go for them. Makes me wonder, does a regular consumer actually care, like in that sense of who manufactures what and where, or is it just, oh, as long as the drone works, I know for me, generally speaking, the more innovation and things like that, the better. Basically, you don't want to have one company basically dictating every single thing and who knows, they might alienate a certain demographic just because they say, hey, we have like the market share, we don't need to worry about you or care about you and so forth. So the more the better in that sense. Holy cow, that's a tiny bird. starting to rain again. See you guys later.